yes, uh, I do identify completely as an European. Uh, I've lived uh, in two very different countries. Um, well, I lived in three, I'm Portuguese. I lived in Italy, I also lived in Finland. Um, so I, I do identify as, as, a, as a European and uh, I do share the, um, the values of the European Union. It's actually a fun fact because I, I actually lived in the two, uh, the two capitals that are most distance, distant from each other, like Lisbon and Helsinki. Why is that interesting? Because they are very different countries and, and still uh, you can still feel the European spirit. They are different in culture, uh, history, um, like uh, religious heritage even. And uh, I was, and it's very far. <laughs> it is very far. If you, if you go from Lisbon to Helsinki, uh, it's about the same time the other direction to Brazil uh, and still you're, you're in Europe. So I, I actually have a very personal experience uh, uh, going to the, to the two limits of, uh, of uh, the European Union. Certainly, I think that there are many things that, that make us European and that, uh, um, again, going back to this extreme example between uh, Portugal and Finland and still feeling at home, uh, you can see that in both countries, our notions of uh, freedom, uh, of uh, democracy, of public participation in society, uh, of, uh, of our rights and duties as citizens uh, are very much the same. And, and that, is, uh, that is amazing. That, that's, that has always amazed me uh, in my experiences living abroad. Well, personally, I remember uh, having, uh, doing a lot of road trips with my parents uh, and we had this, this tradition of going to the, to the Algarve and crossing the border. Uh, and uh, in the mid nineties, uh, you, you, you didn't have to wait anymore. Uh, so that's, I, I kind of remember, uh, I was like nine or 10, I don't remember well. Uh, but I kind of remember uh, that that uh, waiting at the border was was not an issue anymore. Or uh, at least I remember that it was uh, uh, from my parents talking in the car that it was, uh, uh, you know, commenting. Now we can go all the way to France uh, in our car, uh, and that is uh, in your imaginary that is uh, that has an impact. Uh, so it started from there, from there, um, but but in school, uh, the kind of uh, values that we are taught in school about uh, our um, European identity, uh, that is also very formative. Uh, we we do have a lot of um, a lot of references to the European Union at school, uh, and then again in. In college, in university, uh, the possibility. I actually didn't do Erasmus, but uh, I, I traveled a lot and visited some colleagues that were uh, that were doing Erasmus uh, throughout Europe. Um, and uh, after college, I, I grabbed all the chances that I that I had. So uh, I think that your question is more on a personal level, uh, but. Uh, on a prof professional level, I do have a lot of, um, I, I, I really did take advantage of all the opportunities that, uh, that were available to me. Uh, the Second World War, of course. Um, we had, a, a, we still have that, in our, 
imaginary and our memories. I think that even as young people, uh, I can still I can still feel it uh, that that uh, there is a mark, there is uh, something in the background, uh, and that is. Uh, in a way, of course, the European Union was uh, created <clears throat> in order uh, to prevent uh, this horrible thing to, to happen to happen again. Uh, but certainly, for me, it was the, the Second World War. We have a lot of, of great moments. Um, they are not perfect though, uh, but we have a lot of great moments. Um, of course, uh, because my, my previous answer was the, the Second World War, uh, one of the best is the fall of the, the Iron Curtain. Um, but we have other subtle, are very subtle and uh, um, small steps that were made, especially in my area, um, in science and technology. I think that what we could achieve uh, together throughout these many years and uh, with the effort of many countries together, many minds, many, uh, a lot of people, a lot of different experiences that is uh, certainly uh, very positive. <laughs> For me personally, uh, it, it's it's kind of a difficult question because all my work uh, has been done thanks to the European Union. Uh, so. My work, I, I actually work for the European institutions now. I work in the space in industry. And uh, if it's even hard for me to, to imagine a life in Portugal, where I live, where I have my family, uh, where I, because of that, it's where I do prefer to live, because I have my family and friends here, but I could live anywhere else. But um, if I choose to live in Portugal without being part, without it being part of the European Union, it would be very difficult for me even to dream uh, having the job that I have, uh, which is in the space industry. There is no way uh, that uh, our European countries, except for, I mean, except for the larger economies, to develop the kind of um, of aerospace industry that we have uh, that is completely out of the question um, especially in the case of portugal so but i of course i didn't want to give an answer that is much related with uh, with my work but in, but it is because of my my work and my uh, experiences abroad that i could meet a lot of people from from abroad and had uh, uh, established very deep relationships and connections with, uh, um, with a lot of friends uh, throughout Europe. So personally, I gained, I gained, I gained a lot. And uh, professionally, I, I gained tremendously. It's, uh, it, I've, I've been working in this area for a long time. And um, again, it's impossible for me to imagine doing the things that I do um, without being part of the European Union. But, uh, when, when you work in science and uh, technology, um, it's uh, the, the things that it, it has been proven, the things that we, that we can do together as countries um, are, are much greater uh, than, than, than the sum of the parts. It's an impossible thing, uh, carbon neutrality. Uh, in, well, I, I started the wrong way. 
Uh, we, we want to aim for, for carbon neutrality in uh, 2050. Um, but uh, I think it's that's, 20, that's 2030. The year is 2030, so within a decade. No, within a decade? No, no the question our, we're our asking. Goal is, sorry? Yes, yes, I know what you're, you, you mean. The, the, the European goal is 2050, I believe. But uh, yes. 2030, I think that, that would be uh, to achieve carbon neutrality by 2030 would be amazing. Um, but there are other other uh, struggles that we have, uh, especially having a solution to the migrant crisis. Of course, is one of them. Um, you know how to better uh, uh, how to have to have more equilibrium between uh, the livelihoods of the different countries. Uh, there is still some. There is still a lot of difference between, again, between living in Finland and living in Portugal. Uh, I know that we have the basic income uh, discussion going on. Um, but yeah, from one thing is first, at the top of the list is climate change, tackle climate change, achieve carbon neutrality. Uh, second thing uh, is to find out a solution to the migrant crisis. Um, and uh, of course, third, but still very important, how can we have a uh, better quality of living uh, in the different European countries? I, I touched it bri very briefly. I work in the space industry, but specifically in the part of the European uh, space industry that uh, is concerned about climate change. It's a field that is called Earth observation. So we build satellites and we use those satellites to monitor uh, the Earth and the, the Earth uh, uh, natural processes. And of course, climate change is the central issue uh, when, when you invest so much in space, in space technology, to take these uh, pictures of the earth. It's not only pictures, we do many other things. Um, and so the European Union has been central, very, very important um, on this subject. Uh, it has created first one thing that is called uh, through ESA, ESA is not a European Union institution, it, is, uh, it has its own administrative board, but now uh, the European Union, especially through the European Commission and ESA are, are working together uh, in, in, uh, in the Copernicus program. As I said, there was first this uh, GMS program and now is, there is the Copernicus program and what they what we do in the Copernicus program is to um, to monitor the Earth, so to build satellites together. Again, all the European uh, countries are working together to build these satellites in order to understand the problem. That is the first step, uh, to know the science, to work on this very complex science. The climate change science is very complex, very there are a lot of variables that you need to study. And the satellites, the European satellites um, that carry the European Union flag through the Copernicus program are uh, very, very, very important. Uh, so first is that. So first step is to know uh, the problem, exactly to know all the variables of the problem and uh, understand deeply what is uh, going on. Then secondly, we have uh, the mitigation and the, the climate policies that are needed. And that is where most of the shortcomings are. Uh, as I said previously, I think that uh, we, need, we need to be more ambitious uh, in terms of uh, climate measures. Uh, we don't have that much time to tackle climate change. Um, from one side, the, the European Union is very much in line with the, with the, with the science, with the IPCC, which is the Interpanel uh, 
interpanel uh, for for uh, intergovernmental panel for climate change, but. Uh, but still, there are scientists that that uh, believe that we have to be more ambitious in terms of in terms of uh, carbon and uh, climate uh, goals. Um, so, so yeah, most most of the shortcomings are are these. I think that we need to focus more uh, on the on climate. And actually, twenty twenty was was about to be a very good year. There was a lot of public discussion. More than ever, uh, there was uh, there were a lot of policies from any anywhere between the, the the municipality level up to the European Union uh, uh, level of policies that were um, that were very good uh, for for the climate, but now due to the pandemic, uh, everything has kind of stalled. Um, 